this is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. It is Wednesday, February the 16th, 2022. Do I know someone born on this day? I'm starting to think that. Welcome to my channel. I would like to thank all of you, my new subscribers. I do appreciate you watching and I appreciate you subscribing. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Aquarius? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Aquarius out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot. I tried to find um, some... St. Patrick's Day stuff, and I couldn't find anything, so I've got Easter stuff out. <laughs> got in the deck for Aquarius. I don't know why they don't sell anything for St. Patrick's Day anymore. Spirit. The Temperance. Divine Timing. First card out. The Page of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cups talk about love. Pages are messengers. This is a romantic message. She got her cup, heart-shaped eyes and nose, and her Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas skull spoon. Romantic message. What is crossing this? The hangman. This talks about meditation, spirituality, being caught between a rock and a hard place, dark night of the soul, and sometimes we need to look at things from a brand new perspective in order to figure them out. Consciously known, Santa Morta, death and rebirth. Looks like this was a painful cycle. Santa Morta, the death card, did the death card, Scorpio energy. This talks about the end of a very painful cycle. As you could see, she's pregnant, which talks about rebirth. So, end of a painful cycle, beginning of a new one. Unconscious. Ooh, new money. Ace of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pentacles are coins, money. Aces are all about new. This is new money. I like the skull, and there is a grasshopper here. This could be a new job, a raise, a promotion, money from a side project. Maybe you sold. Maybe you just sold something. New money. Recent past, the Hierophant, commitment, second time this has come out tonight. I like his sombrero with the pom-poms, he's got this spirit board, fingers on the planchette. This talks about order, tradition, stability, commitment, engagement, marriage maybe, near future. Six of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. she got six cups here. Cups are all about love. This talks about friendship, puppy love, nostalgia, thinking back to a time when things may have seemed better and sweeter. Just make sure you're not looking at the past through rose-colored glasses. Where do you find yourself? Ooh, your, the, here's your card, Aquarius, the star. This is your energy, the star. Look at this gorgeous star. She's got a headdress. She's got a poncho. Part of her's in land, uh, the water, part not. This is the angel card. This is the wish card. What are you wishing for? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I love it when... I love it when... Your card comes out when I'm doing a reading. External influences. The two of wands. Two of wands. This talks about moving forward. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's like there's a fork in the road. You need to choose a path. Often this card has a globe in it, which talks about um, having to travel for work or to see your person. Hopes and or fears. Ooh, 
passionate, new communication. Eight of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is passionate messages flying through the air. This could be messages, uh, text messages, messages on social media, messages on dating sites, passionate new communication, usually rapid. This could also talk about being at a distance from the person that you are interested in. Maybe it's not geographical. Maybe it is emotional distance. Overall outcome. The moon, Pisces energy. The moon talks about spirits, deceptions, masks being worn, and the truth coming to the surface. Bottom of the deck, we have the temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. Um, the temperance talks about divine timing, being patient, trusting that source spirit universe will give you what you need at its proper time. She's pouring liquid from one cup into the other. She got this gorgeous um, flower and this gorgeous dress, which I absolutely love. Divine timing. Ooh, the queen of, queen of wands, queen of passion, queen of fire. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. She's got this little um, candle. The Queen of Wands, she's good-looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy and exciting. The Strength, Leo Energy, the Strength, this could talk about, this talks about taming the beast inside. could also talk about lust here with the Queen of Wands and um, having the strength to get through things that are challenging. Which kind of goes with death and rebirth. Oh, you have options. Seven of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cups are all about love. See all these cups. They have all have hearts for, uh, for their eyes and nose. They're all on this shelf. This talks about having options in love. Passion and new communication. You got you looks like you're playing the field. You got some people interested. You might be interested in a couple of people. You might be dating around. You have options in love. And the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Money. Pentacles are earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See his little sack of money. Well, kind of a big sack of money. This is the Knight of Pentacles. This person is independent, grounded, balanced, stable. Business person makes her own money, takes care of their money. But this is a very slow, slow moving offer. This person has an offer for you, but it's going to take them a long time. Step by step by step, slowly, slowly. Not a, um, this is a less mature energy than a king or queen. We had a romantic message, death and rebirth, end of a painful cycle, beginning of a new cycle, new money, commitment, nostalgia, your card, the star, the angel card, the wish card, moving forward, passionate communication, divine timing, queen of passion, uh, the strength, Options in love, and I don't I don't know how I feel about this uh, slow moving night. This talks about um, being caught between a rock and a hard place. It might have something to do with this distance between you and your person. Um, you may be, you may have found out something, which is why that you are uh, playing the field right now. See what the oracle cards have to say. Blessed. Blessed. You are blessed. Blessed be. Blessed. Soulmates. Maybe you are wishing for a soulmate here. Bottom of the deck to the sea. I see travel here. I got to say. We had the two of wands, which talks about traveling. 
Eight of Wands talks about traveling and to the sea. I feel like you're going to go. I feel like there's a trip coming up for you. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Soulmates times two. Can I show you this card? The penguins with the hearts. I love this soulmate card. I do. It's my favorite. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This is new. I think this is new. Getting to know each other, romantic feelings. Travel. I think this is new. Oh, the tower. This is cataclysmic change that you cannot prepare for. I think that you might have found something out about someone. Source Spirit Universe strikes down the tower because it was not built on a firm foundation. Maybe someone's keeping secrets from you. But... Once the tower falls, you can rebuild on a solid foundation this time. And we got the lovers again. I think someone's coming in for you. It looks like uh, Cupid sh shooting his arrow. I see the moon. And this looks like the Wheel of Fortune. Come on, cards. So we had a romantic message, death and rebirth, end of a painful cycle, beginning of a new one, new money. Did I move any other cards? Commitment, the star, the wish card, moving forward. Passionate messages, divine timing, queen of passion, the strength, options in love. Blessed to the sea, travel, soulmates, getting to know each other, romantic feelings, soulmate again. The Tower and the Lovers. I don't know, Aquarius. I think someone's coming in for you. I think someone's coming in for you. I like it. Have a great evening. If you like my video, could you please like, share, and subscribe? This is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. Bye for now.